Hello YouTube, it's Phil. This is what I want to show you today. Uh, not all of you know, but I'm a heat and air conditioning technician by trade. Uh, owner of a company and just a regular down to earth guy. So I wanted to show you something. My manifold set had uh, been giving me trouble. I've been having trouble with uh, closing the valves. It wasn't working properly. And I went to price your standard manifold set and a special type of hoses that I've got on my gauges and uh, since I've already got the hoses I could have gotten this one and they give me free hoses that uh, fit differently now I want to go ahead and show you a couple different things here this is your yellow jacket Titan test gauge charging manifold it's for charging you know refrigeration or uh, heating air conditioning for a specific application this will be for R22 okay um, basically you're looking at this set of gauges and this set of gauges is uh, it's got four knobs this is going to open the uh, refrigerant for charging from here or here but you know this one most of the time always be closed unless I'm pulling a vacuum because this big fat hose is for pulling a vacuum because it increases the speed of a vacuum when you're you know have it on a larger hose and then this one's for the recovery or charging this one's for the uh, head pressure side this one's for the suction pressure side so that's basically you know it, it allows me to check on r404a r410a and r22 refrigerant but here's the problem with that you don't want to mix the refrigerant oil which will kill it um, if you ever notice inside these gauges the green will be r22 pink is for r410a and orange is r404a so, aside from that, uh, I don't want to drop that off the roof. That's already off. There we go. So, we got that off. And then we got, you know, papers, you know, information. I'm going to go ahead and go through all this. It's uh, procedures or whatever. And, you know, I just want to make sure that I do everything with the maximum efficiency. And then it, they give me a set of hoses, which these are not low loss fitting, so they are not technically supposed to be used in the field. I don't even know why they still make these. Maybe because they're cheap, they're cheaper, and they're good hoses. But you know, these connectors are not low loss fittings, and they should have valves that shut off instantaneously. And you can see the difference between you know one hose or the other the reason why this hose is so much bigger is so you can pull vacuum quicker with a vacuum pump that has the proper adapter and I've got the vacuum pump that does have the proper adapter so I can pull a vacuum quicker um, I've not had one of these specifically but I'm excited for it um, we can go ahead and uh, put it all together now. And I'll show you what it looks like. So you got these connectors on the back right here that your gauge is attached to. And you know, that's a big old hole, hose in it. You know, blue goes on the left on your standard. So I'm going to set the blue on the left here. And go ahead and put this on over here. Now the last one, which is going to be the red one, I will put a low loss fitting on it. The yellow one goes over here, which will be for recovery and charge. Nothing 
more uh, more cool to me than having a fresh set of manifold and hoses. I love it. There's nothing better than having a fresh set. You know, because you know this is what I do on a regular basis. This is what I earn my money with is heating and air conditioning. I guess I could do solar for a living. I might consider it. But you can see. The hose's length and the quality this is uh, says 1115. I'm assuming that's when it was manufactured. Uh, what I will do is do a few tests on all of this uh, with my vacuum pump. I'm going to do some evacuations on some clothes here soon to see how quickly it evaporates because clothes have a large surface area. Now, something else I haven't talked about and I want you guys to be on the same page. I've mentioned air conditioning before. Now this underneath of me is an air conditioner. It looks terribly dirty, don't it? Well, this unit came out of a fire and uh, I'm, I'm really afraid that water had gotten in these lines. And once you get water in the lines, then it's over. I mean, you're in deep, deep trouble with these type of systems. Uh, this is an R14A system. Oh, look, my unit just turned on and it's misting. I'll show you right here. Uh, you can see that I'm misting water. So, it, you know, my unit mists water on the side of the unit. Yeah, if you look at the... <laughs> I haven't been able to mow my yard for a while, but let's not talk about that right now because uh, my lawnmower is getting fixed tomorrow, and once I get it fixed completely, I'll be mowing the yard ASAP. Uh, this unit had been in a house that was on fire. The lines inside had ruptured, and the fire department came out and hosed the whole house down. So I'm putting every dollar that I earn on this that the inside of the system has been contaminated with water. So what I intend on doing is removing the compressor out of this four ton unit, installing, after I clean the lines, installing a ton and a half compressor, running lines to my current indoor unit which can support two stage equipment. And currently I only got one stage equipment on the outside so I'm going to uh, set it up to where the first stage is going to be running off of this which is a ton and a half compressor I'm going to reduce the voltage of the fan and that's going to reduce the amps of this fan and I'm going to have that ton and a half compressor that I guarantee you my inverter will start so I'll have the ton and a half compressor plus this and then all I got to do is run the indoor fan and that's going to run off of solar all of it um, but I won't be able to run my electric heaters off of solar but I will be able to run my fan that's on the indoor unit the fan that's on the outdoor unit and the compressor and the transformer that runs this and the transformer for the other outdoor unit so the other outdoor unit that's over here to your right will stay on the grid this will be separated to a different circuit and the indoor uh, unit will be separated to a different circuit that my indoor unit is an infinity unit. It'll run two stage or to run a variable speed compressor called an inverter compressor. I cannot afford one of those systems. So I'm gonna do the next best thing is when I find a ton and a half compressor, I'm gonna put it inside of this unit. I might, if I find a two ton compressor, I might even put it in there too. I mean, even if I, if I find a 12,000 BTU compressor, I'm going to put it in there. And then I can take it out later and switch it to a, two, a ton and a half or even bigger. But this will be my first stage of air conditioning. And that's going to knock the heat off. Um, and then my second stage of air conditioning is going to really pump out some heat. So I've got a four ton coil outside and then I'll put a four ton coil inside. That, that will be mandatory new. Um, and the compressor will be mandatory new unless I find... A used ton, uh, you know, one ton compressor. Because, you know, if I find a used one ton compressor, no big deal. 
but this unit was under a fire and it's been damaged so I'm going to have to take the compressor out and I want to show you what that compressor looks like so hold on here and I will show you okay YouTube this is uh, what it looks like on the inside of this equipment you got this fan you can't see uh, you know the fans above everything I went ahead and removed everything you can see it's got two coils here you got one coil at the top and then a second coil that's in behind that's a very large coil capacity that's going to allow me to use a very small compressor to get additional heat out of it and this is a four ton coil uh, we've got a scroll four ton compressor i'm assuming that there's moisture inside of these lines and what i will do is i will purge all the lines with uh, liquid uh, oil solvent that's designed to remove the oil inside of these lines once I do that I'm going to make sure that uh, the suction accumulator that's right here this is your suction accumulator I'm going to uh, disconnect it remove the uh, oil I'm going to remove the compressor and install a uh, ton and a half maybe two ton I don't know it's probably be a ton and a half if I find a two ton then you know That'd be fine too, but I'm going to go with a cheaper compressor, and I can tell you a ton and a half is cheaper. So, all these wires here, I noticed that this system's got safety features. It's also got a filter dryer. You see that blue thing right there? That's a filter dryer. That has so, I just, uh, my camera went dead, and I apologize. But I wanted you guys to see my new setup that I plan on doing. Um, I want you guys to tell me what you think. This will be a heat pump. It will be running off of uh, two outdoor units, running off of one indoor unit. It will be running off of a two-stage system. I wish I could, you know, pick up an inverter outdoor unit and just be done with it because it, my inverter would run it. But an inverter compressor outdoor unit costs a whole lot of money, and it just not something I'm going to be able to do. So what I can do is I can run a whole new indoor line set. Uh, I can put an indoor coil that you know fits, drain it you know, into a pump, pump the water outside. If I wanted to, I could trap the water. But you know, here's the thing: I can make a super efficient you know unit, and I can run it, and it will be uh, really, really efficient just because of the size of these coils. I'll be able to remove and capture a lot of heat. Uh, I'll be able to, you know, remove a lot of heat whenever, you know, it runs with this small system. It's not going to be as much heat as a three, three ton or a two and a half ton would, but I should be able to get, you know, at least the capacity of a two ton or almost a two and a half out of a ton and a half compressor. So, you know, if, if it works out, that'd be great. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Um, you know, I can always, you know, look at it, you know, as I got a two-stage, you know, system without running off the inverter. If I can't run it, then I still got a two-stage system, which will make my electric bill go down as well. Uh, you know, you got to look at it like this. When I'm running the heat, if I'm running two heat pumps, I'm still going to have a lot more heat than I would if I had one. So, you know, it just... Uh, you can see all the trash that's the debris that's inside of here this white stuff this stuff was burning on this unit it was burning inside all, all this stuff was everywhere so I'm going to go through all the wires and make sure none of it got burned up um, it looks like it's got a scroll plug which is uh, totally cool um, they're, they're about 60 bucks for one of those plugs you know if that plug's okay then you know I can t tie into a small compressor hopefully you know I can get one for a really really good deal you know maybe down the road I can but this is uh, this is an going to be an ongoing project I can't just go out and buy all the stuff because I priced it today and it's it's up there I mean it, it, it's up there it don't cost as much as the inverter I want but you know this is just going to be an ongoing project what I'll do is I'll buy the line set tie the lines up um, and then you know I'll buy a uh, you know evaporator coil install the coil you know it's going to be uh, 
a project and you know I look forward to doing it and it's going to be really fun I think and I want all you guys to uh, tell me what you think about it tell me if it, you think it's going to be fun to watch uh, it's going to be real fun so I'll show you me installing the lines and everything and changing this compressor out and cleaning the lines out um, just let me know what you think. I mean, whenever I get all this stuff ready to go, I'm going to start tying it all together and, you know, having it all cleaned out and ready for uh, running with uh, my system that I currently got installed. So I'm going to have two outdoor units, one indoor unit. It's going to be run off two stages. It's going to run air conditioning and the heat at the same time as that other one. It's going to be really, really cool. So I've not seen nothing like this yet, but I intend on designing it and I hope it works really well. So this will be my first stage system. My second stage system is going to be on the right, the pain system. And if it doesn't work, then, you know, down the road I can get an, you know, inverter compressor. But, but you know, for now I can start with, uh, I can start this system with a small compressor. So having, you know, a two-stage system is going to be really, really cool. And I also get more BTU, more BTU removal as well. So, you know, if it works out it works out if it don't then it don't but i, I want you guys to uh, know that this is going to be my you know next big project it's going to be tough to get done you know hopefully i can afford it uh, maybe i'll get some good jobs give me some uh, thumbs up like subscribe share and comment i want you guys to share me so i can you know do more videos like this I can do all kinds of videos, but I'm just uh, financially bound from, you know, doing real extravagant videos. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I've always had planned on wanting to do and, you know, been bound by the finances. So if uh, my YouTube channel grows real big, I promise you, you're going to have some really cool stuff coming out of this place. Thank you for uh, subscribing. This is Phil 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics, and I'm going to heat and cool you guys later.